All right, here I've got the two top links in place. I've got my heim joints with a weld in, um, what they call a bung. Then here's the the link material, which is um, thick wall DOM tubing. Another heim joint with a weld in bung tied here, and that's the upper. So I need to put in two more for the bottoms, which are going to cross make it sort of look like a, a W shape here. So now I'm going to show you how this front end is going to flex and how the heim joints are going to move up and down. All right, I'm going to try a flex test here of the front end. Um, see how it moves with these heim joints in place. I've just got them duct taped in place, um, but it looks like it's flexing pretty good. Of course, without the without the other links coming in like this, the axle can move side to side. But right now, it looks like the articulation is pretty good. Um, so that's the. That's the key advantage of a four link. You get great articulation and the axle is is centered by the opposing forces of the different arms. So these two arms keep it centered. The other two arms keep it centered. And because they're separated by a vertical distance, they keep the axle from twisting, so you don't need uh, any other suspension components like a pan hard bar from one side to the other to locate the axle. Plus, it keeps it from twisting. Now, depending on the geometry of your links, how far they are separated, um, and their uh, general geometry will depend. Uh, will determine how much the front end raises or lowers um, with torque on the axle. So I don't really have to worry about that. That would be come into more play for a rear axle design where you've got acceleration causing the front end, the back end to go down or the back end to raise up. But just for uh, the purposes of the go-kart, I don't need to worry about that. I just need to make sure that the link on the bottom comes off uh, enough to keep the axle from twisting. So I'm going to turn it over and weld on the tabs for the bottom and fabricate the bottom, four, the bottom two links. Alright, now I've got the go-kart upside down and time for some links on the bottom. Probably that is a little bit too tall. So I've got a whole bunch of different uh, pieces of metal here that I can use for locators. Um, this one's probably the one I'm going to use. It's a little bit shorter. And then I've got a tab here for the front to locate it. And that should be fine. It doesn't stick down too far. I need to angle them to match the angle of the uh, bars going back. So I have to twist it a little bit when I weld it on. But I'll show you that in just a second. Alright, let's try this again. Buggered that thing up. All right, I've cut my tab that I'm going to weld on using this piece of steel as a guide to get it positioned at the right angle. And hold it 
up against there, make sure it's positioned properly. And take the MIG gun and tack, up, tack it in place. Of course I am closing my eyes when I do this. links are in place. This one seems a little bit out of, a little bit twisted more than this one, so I think I'm going to grind it off, reposition it slightly so that they are more symmetric. All right, let's try this again. I've got it clamped in there a little bit better this time, and hopefully It'll be even on both sides after I tack it this time. joints all up. Um, these weld in bungs are chrome molly and this is not chrome molly so we got some chrome molly tubes on order. Once it comes in I'll weld the tubes onto the bungs and make it permanent but uh, you know this will work for right now. Of course the go-kart is upside down at the moment but I just want to see how it's going to work. Oh yeah look at that. It won't wiggle back and forth much. Um, all of these nuts are a little bit loose on here. So once I tighten everything up, it should be really, really snug. Oh yeah, that is just cool. Um, got quite a bit of travel before I feel any um, interference with anything. So, and I, I can't can't twist the axle any, which is what I was hoping for. It's very rigid in the uh, torque. So, that's exactly what I was hoping for. That's what gives rock crawlers a lot of flexibility is having a four link. You can see it it wiggles quite a bit without binding, so there you go. Four-link system for a go-kart. How cool is that? 